Welcome to Bias Bash. I'm Lauren Green. This year marks the 10th anniversary of WikiLeaks, a date that comes amid a curious shift in how many in the media have portrayed the organization. When the site first began to make waves in 2010, pundits were eager to praise the site for its dedication to total transparency, even though it was done in a mischievous manner. Well, flash forward to today, however, and the media often portrays Julian Assange as irresponsible. And this raises the question of whether or not the press was ever actually for total transparency or just in a situation when it didn't affect a candidate they liked. Here now to weigh in is Fox News contributor Alan Ratner, bureau chief for Talk Media News. Welcome, Alan. Well, thank you. First, I want to say something. My brother was Julian Assange's attorney before my brother passed in May, so I just want to say that. <laughs> okay, full disclosure here. And, and sorry about your brother's death, and my condolences. Thank you. Uh, but basically, look, I think the media has been very wishy-washy with the Julian Assange thing. Again, initially 10 years ago, Julian Assange could do no wrong. Then he went after Hillary Clinton. All of a sudden, he's very partisan. Uh, he's not really leaking things uh, that should be leaked. I mean, they have just gone after him, I think, in a very unfair way. But, you know, a part of it, you know, could it be him himself? Because, you know, he did this sort of publicity stunt uh, alleging, you know, that he was going to do this document dump at 3 in the morning or so. And there was no October surprise. There was nothing that he could, uh, that, you know, was some big news event. I mean, doesn't he use the media, too? Well, I think they are still claiming that there is going to be some document dump. And, of course, he's using the media. If I was a nonprofit like WikiLeaks, I'd use the media, too. Uh, so it's a question of, uh, of whether the media, though, is being honest in its portrayal of him, and do they really want transparency? That's the ultimate question. You know, it seems a little bit sort of like the same treatment that Snowden got, you know, is he a hero, is he a villain? Well, it depends on what side of the political divide you are. Is that kind of what the media has done with, with Julian? Well, certainly, and it's very interesting that Snowden was asked where he lived. Of course, he lives in Russia, and he says he lives on the Internet, as I think Julian Assange does as well. You know, but will the media ever decide which one uh, Julian is? Is he, is he a villain, or is he... Um, I mean, and why this series of, of um, you know, wondering where he, what he is well, and who he is and, and, you know, sort of his moral uh, compass? Some would say that because the media is in the tank, some people think it is, for Hillary Clinton, they're opposed to Assange now, who seems to have gone after Hillary Clinton. But I don't know that that's true. I just know that the media has to be transparent on both sides and all the time. And it hasn't been in this case. All right. I want to thank you so much, Ellen. Thank you. If you want to hear more media analysis on the week's top headlines, catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz. Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern and again at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. I'm Lauren Green, and thanks for watching.